let's do it quick uh, recap so what is html hopefully you have done this all but i will uh, create another video in which we will explain this what is html what are why we use html language okay um, quickly uh, tell me share something about here that um, it's not a programming uh, programming language it's a scripting language in scripting language means that uh, we can use different tags to create web pages websites basically html is used to create website or web pages okay what is html stand for is hypertext markup language languages markup means that we will use series of tags mixed with a plain text it's a call markup language okay HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages, right? It's all about HTML and its uses. HTML describes the structure of web page. Structure of web page means that where you uh, place the text, images, and uh, tables, and all that. Structure is just uh, just like a human uh, human skeleton. You can say that the structure is just like a human skeleton. Okay, then HTML consists of series of elements. HTML elements tells the browser how to display the content. What are elements? Elements. Then uh, elements tell the browser, web browser, that how to display your content. Okay. Now, um, using HTML language, uh, you can run a script with any browser, any web browser. I'm using here Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. You can use any uh, web browser. And editor we are going to use here is Notepad. Later on, I will show you how to work in previews. So, what is the difference between structure and the presentation? Well, structure is our HTML tags. All the HTML tags are called structure. So, what is the presentation? The CSS is called our presentation. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. For example, color, font size, it, these all are the part of the presentation or the CSS part. So, uh, structure, uh, HTML stands for hypertext markup language in which um, we will use heading style 1, 2, 3, and then if you uh, want to write a paragraph, we will use a pair tag, which is a um, P tag. Then, if you want to add functionality in uh, your website using HTML, uh, we will use JavaScript. With the help of JavaScript JS, you can add the functionality or you can say coding part. And they are linked with, uh, link, link with each other, just like that. Okay, now this is the recap of the following concepts. I have designed this all computer science with application software class 8 chapter number 3 topic setting in HTML5 order list and unorder list this is the example of order list on the on the left side over here here order of the items are fixed not fixed sorry unorder list can you see over here these are the square boxes here like I have listed here unorder list of science subjects 2021 computer science biology uh, physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So uh, these are called square. It's called uh, an order list. So here we have order list of the science subject in which can you see? Or you can see clearly over here numbering are over here. Are alphabets? These are called these. Uh, these all are in 
order so that's why it is called order create this i will um, explain you later on okay i have used this all code using notepad editor you can see it's written here notepad i have used this to create all this this page to design this page okay now let's um, get back to our main topic in setting images in html we can make our document more attractive by adding images or graphics images or graphic add goodness you can make your uh, document more attractive web page more attractive even you can add videos as well okay apple links videos images all that web browser support number of graphic format like jpeg gif tiff etc okay given below are the some widely used formats gif graphic gif stands for graphic interchange format jpeg jpeg joint photographic expert group ENT portable network graphics so we will uh, discover one by one all these formats okay graphic interchange format gif gif format uses maximum sorry it's written here maximus so it is a maximum you can write over mem 256 colors it is not suitable for the photographic images gif format has limited color you can write these three points okay it has limited color not suitable for the photographic images and it has 256 colors using with the help of 256 color you can make any color okay in jpeg joint photographic expert group jpeg is best format for the photographs this is best format for the photograph but this one is not best for the photographics this one gif and um, jpeg is the best for the photographics okay it contains 1 million colors and the gif contains only 256 colors these are the difference between these these, these images formats so let's move to the next one png portable network graphic this format is best for images with transparency or low color where you low colors are required or transfer transparency is required you can use this png format these all are images format so images tag how we will use uh, these images tag image tag is used to display images in document we will use this single tag it is a single tag this one choosing these angle brackets okay attributes of the images are these are the attributes that we will use while creating our web page okay uh, attributes are source over here source means that specify the url and location of an image ki kya aapki image kahan pe where your image is located you can uh, copy that image link or file name and you can place it over here directly when you can url then this is the example of inserting your images in the html document you use this single tag image space space src means source is equal to this is the file name file name is here is the file name facil.jpg within double quotation then you can save and run this script then uh, alt mean alternate text for um, an images in case image is not found if image is not found then it will display a specific text for example in my case if i am using this image wall.jpg image it is not located in that in the same location then Uh, it will display this message image not found so height and weight these are the um, other attributes of the image tag specify it is clearly from the name that it will specify the height of image in pixels value in pixels image source check wall then height is equal to 100 pixel within double quotation width specify the width of an image pixel value and image this is the example you can see clearly over here Okay, inserting images in HTML5. This is the code beta that I have um, created. This this is the output here. Using this these uh, specific tags, you can use uh, to uh, create display like that. But you need images, these two icons, and this is simple text over here. Look, I have started this document by writing HTML tag. Then I have a head tag. In head tag, I have inserted my title, Pakistan International School Computer Science. Okay, it will display in the title. 
Now after that I have used cascading style sheet, style type is equal to text like this, this then these are the images properties, img curly bracket start with 50 pixel colon, 50 pixel semicolon here, it's end over here, then height colon, 50 pixel end over here, then border 2 pixel, then solid red, style end over here, started here, end over here, and head will end over here, head started here, and end over here. Now the main body of the HTML document started from here, where you will uh, where you will find this body tag. So first, first I have done what I have inserted image tag over here. Can you see over here? You can use this same formation by changing this image. Okay. Okay. Then what I why I have used this center tag and H1 tag. It's written in computer science with application software. This line is appearing over here. Computer science with application software. So it will display in the center. You can see it is center of the document. And then it is heading style 1, H1. There are total six heading styles. And this one is heading style 1. Then again, after that, I have inserted one more image over here. You know, this text, all that. Clear. Let's move to the next page. Okay, that's the end of our presentation. If you have any question, you can ask. But let me show you some practical over here. It was all written, but no. Let's demonst demonstrate something. I'm going to open note by clicking on start. I will write note, not sticky note. Notepad. You need to click on notepad. And now here is my notepad. Now I'm going to my, uh, write my script over here, just like that. I will write, first of all, I will write here, HTML tag, done, it means that I am going to create my first web page, so after that I will use head, let me make some adjustment over here. Within the head tag, we will write our title. Title, this is starting tag, this one is ending tag. These all tags comes in there. So here I will write anything, for example, today is Friday, okay, today is Friday. It will appear in my title. Let me save this. Save as this is another skill how to save your HTML page. So, save as type you need to click here, select all files. Now, here you will write, for example, I'm writing testing.html. This is my file name, and it will I'm saving this in over here, Pakistan International School. In this folder, done. Okay, now let me run this script. First of all, I will enter in that folder where I have saved this file. Now right click on it, mouse right click, and you will open this with any web browser. I'm going to use this Google Chrome. You can use any browser. Where's our title? Nothing is over here. Why? Because we haven't written a single tag for this. Okay. We haven't inserted any text or any images in the document. Because we were working on the title. Today is Friday. Can you see over here? I have used this script, this one, so that it can display only the title. Can you see over here? So let me give a make it readable. Yes, it is readable code now. Now after that, I will here I will start writing my body tag slash body. Pair tag done. Backspace. It looks good. Okay, now here I will use what? Hmm. Let me insert image first. I will use this image tag. It's a single tag. IMG. Then SRC attributes of this image. And put double quotation here. We will need address, URL. We will pick file. Then attribute height. Height. How many image are you? Then we will uh, wait. Is equal to double quotation. Done. Okay. 
now save this now i need to pick image from my document so i'm going to use which one let's go to the pictures welcome back we are here i'm going to pick this image a jellyfish this time i'm going to use this jellyfish or the lighthouse let's use lighthouse i'm going to copy this image and i'm going to insert it in the same folder where my this file is there so when my file is located come here it's on desktop let me go back here i'm going to paste it over here lighthouse no i right click here rename and i will copy this file name here so now i'm going to use it in where in the source just click here and paste that's it no rocket size so it just you no know, without giving the width and height attributes let me run this go to the browser refresh this time and we will see our lighthouse bingo so move to the next next part is i need to write its attributes here so let me write here 50 pixel and light let me write here this um, 50 pixel yeah width be 50 and height be 50 it's just like a square so control s see if you work i'll just click so let me write px here click on file top left corner save go back to your web browser refresh it and you can see that you can even resize it it's a pixel okay if i can change this pixel what will appear over here 50 50 save you need to press save after making any change you need to save your document refresh that go back oh things appearing over here okay uh, let me make this um height should be 500 pixels px and width should be yeah 500 here save no. go back refresh yes now i want to insert this image in the center i want to place this image in the center center mechanical you can adjust this width and height all that okay. Um, now I'm going to place this in the center. So uh, what I will do, I will go in my scrolling section, this tags, scripting section. Uh, now I will write here center tag. Center here. Now scroll at the end and then where I will type my ending tag slash center to control S shape your work and then um, go back to the web browser and then refresh got it that's how you can insert images in your document okay how to insert text let's try this for example i want to show this name my school name now so where i will write my name if i want to write my name above this image so i will write here heading style one h1 heading style one slash h1 ending text so here i will write here okay long live pakistan okay after that i will use another tag i can even use this copy paste to make your life easy ah control z sorry control c Now here I will use heading style 2, so I will write here just like heading style 2, just like that, you do control S to save your work. Now here I want to write here, my school name, for example, my school name is, um, yes, little smaller academy. Yes, now let me save this. File, save, or just to control as go back to your page and then run it. Wow, I got it. Now I want to place this in the center. This one, this thing. So it will appear at the top. So what I will do, I will do go back and I obviously I will use the center tag. 
so here in place of writing here syntax tag i will cut this and i will place it over here after the body tag done do control s and let me adjust this let me bring it in at the bottom so maximize this is our all go title place title at starting head tag ending head tag title will appear between this head tag and body tag started here so center tag and it's heading style one heading style two then image Control S, go back to web browser, now refresh this. Got it? Thank you very much. Hopefully, uh, you learned these skills that I hope to insert image in the HTML document and how to insert text or heading style 1 and heading style 2. Okay, in the next uh, video, I will uh, discuss more about HTML language. So, till then, love this, take care.